And there's something that God wants to impart in each one of us today. A, a measure of his heart that is significant for your calling, for your destiny. It's here in this place and in the next few places we're going to visit. But it's very significant for, for what God's doing in you in your time here in the land of Israel. For DJI. Joshua. I don't know what you guys have already talked about. Do that's Joshua. okay. Now Joshua, this is Joshua 13. Now Joshua was old and advanced in years, and the Lord said to him, You are old and advanced in years, and there remains yet very much land to possess. You know, Jesus is coming back. I believe he's coming back soon. I know he's passionate about coming back. But there remains a lot of land yet to possess. There's a lot of land for you to possess. For your calling, you've been born into this time for such a time as this to play your role to bring Jesus back and there's a lot of land yet to possess. This is the land that yet remains and God went on to describe all the land, all the, the areas that have not, had not been possessed yet by the time that Joshua was old and well advanced in years. It says, God goes on, I myself will drive them out before the people of Israel. Only allot the land to Israel for an inheritance as I have commanded you. Allot the land to Israel for an inheritance. This is where it happened. You guys saw in the movie? Do you remember? They gathered together. Joshua came out and he said, why are you here? Why haven't you? Possess the land the Lord has given you. And they drew lots and they divided up the inheritance here in this spot. Right here where we're sitting. They allotted the inheritance for the remaining tribes of Israel. It goes on to say, Only allot the land to Israel for an inheritance as I have commanded you. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance to the nine tribes and half the tribe of Manasseh. This is where they divided the land. And each tribe got their inheritance, an everlasting inheritance. It says, even then, when they went in and they possessed their land, if, you, if people, if things didn't go so well, they got poor, they had to sell their land, they had to give it away, every jubilee, every 50th year, it goes back to them. It was an inheritance that could not be lost. So why are we here? Why are we here today in Shiloh? Because you have an inheritance that you have not yet fully possessed. You will possess it. But this is a place of receiving in our hearts that, that encouragement that's going to say, go possess the land I have given you, the reason I created you. Play your part. Your part. You have an inheritance. We just, we just read, Marty just read from the Beatitudes about the meek what do the meek get the earth the meek shall inherit the earth you have an inheritance in the earth you have inheritance in this in the land of the world how do i know that because israel has an inheritance in the earth do you believe that if you believe the Bible, if you believe the covenant God made with Abraham, then you believe that Israel has an eternal inheritance in the earth. We're standing in it. This is the inheritance of Israel, of the physical descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. If it's true for Israel, it's true for you. Because Israel is God's firstborn son. The church isn't here to take the promises away from Israel. The church is to come alongside in Israel and say, yes! Come in and take your inheritance because I have an inheritance too. You have an inheritance. It's in the earth. Whatever that means. When Jesus comes back, we're going to rule and reign on the earth with him in the nations around the world. But we are here on commissioning day in Shiloh where the tribes of Israel received their inheritance and we want you to receive uh, a measure, an, an ex, another uh, encouragement 
the receive something in your spirit today to say, I am going to lay hold of my inheritance. And how am I going to do that? Part of that is standing with Israel and saying, you will get your inheritance, right? He has an inheritance. You have an inheritance in the earth. So Father, I thank you that we have an inheritance, that we're standing in this very place, the very place, Lord, where you divided the land and you told Israel, this is your inheritance. Lord, I pray right now, right now that you will speak to each of our hearts, that you will stir us to say, God, I will lay, I will lay hold of it. I will rise up. I don't want to go back to just life as usual. I don't want to go back to where I was before DJI. Lord, I want to come up to a new place, just as Israel came up to a new place from this place. So Lord, right now we receive, we receive, Lord. We receive that encouragement, the strength from heaven, O oh God. Lord, to take a step forward, to possess, to possess more of what you have for us, that we will play our part, that we will step into our role, O oh God, that we will rise up in the spirit, and we will war for your return, O oh God. Lord, I pray for that right now, that impartation. Impartation to each one of us right now, right now, right now, Lord. Our hearts are asking for it. Say, Lord, come and impart to us. Come and show us. Come and stir us, Lord. For your kingdom, your kingdom on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You shall inherit the earth. You have an inheritance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Look around. Look around. The, the flags you see flying here, these are the tribes, the 12 tribes. Lord, thank you that we have an inheritance here in this place. Hallelujah.